What's going on, the friends? My name is Entertainers, and welcome back to Pokemon Yellow for the Game Boy Color. We're all up last time. We got to Vermilion City, and now in this part, we are going to be exploring Vermilion City. There's also a gym here. We actually cannot take on the gym right now, so we're just going to explore what we can here. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? I mean, sure, I guess. I like his style. Take this and fish, young one. And he'll give you an old rod, which is a fishing rod that allows you to, uh, like, fish for Pokemon. With the old rod, you're very limited as to what you can find. In this case, you can find a Magikarp uh, most of the time, and that's really all you get. Alright, this person right here. I just got a squirrel that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't even give it to me right away. Okay, that's actually interesting. Let's see, um, uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, I guess my Pikachu really likes whatever this thing is. Uh, what is it? It's a, it's a Clefairy! You like Clefairies. Won't you admire my Clefairy's adorable tail? Okay. But the main reason we're here, though, is this guy right here. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I have more than 100 Pokemon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So! Did you come here to to hear me brag about my Pokemon? Alright, let's do this here. Alright, here we go. My favorite Rapidash. It cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's styling, kindly. Love it. Hug it when sleeping warm and cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing! Oops, look at the time! <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I read a little bit ahead of myself there, because, man, I've seen this dialogue so many times that I don't even have to know what he is saying, uh, because, you know, I know it a lot. Please come over here with me. Thank you very much. I think he can actually just leave the Pikachu and he's actually, he can actually stay, he stays there. So pretty interesting. Alright, so I think this house right here, there's a trainer that will give you... Oh, no. Okay, that's actually different. In, 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 it's actually different yellow. There used to be a trainer in there that will give you a uh, Farfetch for a Spearow. If you have a Spearow, you can give it to him, her, and she'll give you a Farfetch, but that's not the case in yellow. There is a route there that I'm not going to worry about. Instead, we're going to head on down this way. So, we're going to head on downwards over here. Oh, but that's a sand. Excuse me, do you have a flash ticket? So you go ahead and, and give him the ticket, and then we are on board to the SSN. It is a, a boat with lots of rooms, and we're going to go ahead and explore the SSN. Oh man, there's quite a bit of rooms here, and there's uh, a lot of trainers, as Bill alluded to, you know, earlier. So. We're gonna see what we got in here. We're gonna start by fighting some trainers here. Let's do it. Hello, stranger. That is that room right there. Let's see what we got going on here in this room. Ooh, you got an item there? I'll be sure to take that. Let's see what this item is. It is TM44, which contains... Rest! I don't need it. But thank you, though. I'll be sure to grab it. It's, um... Well, <laughs> I just I just felt like grabbing it, I guess. Alright, so right there's Ether, and then we have another Sailor! Okay, 
in the next room. Let's see what we got here in this room. Two sailors. Oh, man. And then, one more room. What do we got going on here? My buddy Machoke is super strong. He has enough strength to move big rocks. Okay, okay. But thank you for the free item right here. Ooh, a max potion? Oh my god. A lot of, lots of good stuff right there. Okay, so that's that floor completed right there. And unlike in Fire and Leaf Grave, there is no room that heals up your Pokemon. And that took a lot of damage, so let me be right back real quick. Okay, so we are back, and now we are going to start going this way here. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, hello! We got a gentleman trainer who, you know, if you beat the, if you beat him, you get lots of money. having to do that to your friends. Okay, next floor here. What do we got going on here? How dare you barge in! me rude and everything. And then we continue onwards to the next floor here. What do you have to say here? Waiter! I would like a cherry pie please. Okay, well I'm not your waiter, but you know, if you see your waiter then be sure to tell them that. I was trouble with Wigglytuff. Ooh, that's a Wigglytuff right there? Cruise is so elegant yet cozy. Alright, and then what else we got going on here? Ooh. More trainers. we got going on here. We are cruising around the world. Alright, and then, uh, oh, I have no room! Oh, that's not good. How about I teach Seismic Toss to Connor? And then I should have room for this item right here. This is TM08, which contains... Body Slam! Should I teach that? I'll, I'll think about it. Alright, next room. I'm a global police agent. I'm on the trail of Team Rocket. Okay. Well, I don't think Team Rocket is in here in particular, but good luck with that. Alright, and then we got this place right here. So this is the kitchen, where you see all these chefs do all their cooking here. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? A great ball! Ooh, I could totally use that. Okay, so I went ahead and taught Body Slam to Pikachu after all, after much consideration. We're gonna go ahead and grab this great ball from that trash can right there. There's nothing in there, and then there's nothing in there. So great ball is a Pokeball that has a higher catch rate than a regular Pokeball, so that could be helpful in to some degree. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and head up straight up to the stairs here. Um, and we are going to head over to the deck area, so... Uh, by the way, you don't have to do any of this exploring right here if you know where to go, but if you don't fight these trainers, then you will not have another chance at fighting these trainers again. 
What is a little jig? Nothing out here, so we're pretty much done with this part. And now there's one more floor for us to explore now that we are done with the deck area. And that is the set of rooms right here. So let's see what we got going on here. In all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. A Snorlax! Yeah, I've never seen a Snorlax before either. Tell me, tell me about it, man. No more room! Oh my goodness. Okay, what is this? Max Ether. Okay, okay. Pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, what's this? I have seen some Pokemon ferry people across the water. Ooh, I know what kind of Pokemon you might be talking about. Pokemon can cut down small bushes. Okay, that's good to know. And then, what do we got going on over here? Ooh, okay, okay. Strong or rare Pokemon? What if I like both? of a rare candy and then two more rooms left to go here what do we have here have you gone to safari zone no i haven't me and my daddy think the safari zone is awesome really okay well that's something to look forward to next time and there's the last room right here what do we got i hear many people get seasick and then the captain looked really sick and, and, and pale. Well, that's not good. That's not really good to be seasick when you're the captain. So, uh, I guess we better check him out, I guess. So let's see what we got here. Oh, hey! Bonjour! Since when have you become French? Imagine seeing you here. Were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex get coming? I already caught 40 kinds! Well, aren't you great? Okay, the next round against Blue. Or at least that's his official name. But here we go, our fourth round against Vince here. Uh, once again, four Pokemon. Starting off with Spearow, level 19. Normal flying type with Peck Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. Goes with Fury Attack. Please don't kill me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Alright, alright. Only two times. That's no big deal. Go ahead and take out the Spearow just like that. Okay, next up is Rattata. We go ahead and send out Connor for this one. So Rattata has, is level 16 normal type with Tackle, Tail Up, Quick Attack, and Hyper Fang. I hope you don't use Hyper Fang, that'd be bad. Please go for, for anything not Hyper Fang, or I could one hit KO the Rattata just like that. Okay, next up is Sandshrew. Let's eh, send out Joey for this one. Sancho, level 18, ground type with Scratch, Sand Attack, and Slash. Slash is another high crit rate chance, so hopefully we don't see um, Slash here. 
Please don't go for uh, Slash. Okay, good. Didn't go for Slash. So we're gonna go ahead and use Thrash here. Thrash is a really nice move because it hits for three or four turns. It's 50% chance whether you get the fourth turn. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Nick, uh, finally, is Eevee, level 20, normal type with. Oh, we're. Okay, so we got the three turn. Uh, with Tackle, Tail Up, Sand Attack, and Growl. Okay, good. We didn't see Sand Attack at all, and that is what we like to see. And there we go. At least you're raising your Pokemon. What, do you think I'm not raising my Pokemon? I heard there was a Cut Master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. But Cut itself is really useful. We need to go see him. Okay. But also, if you said you heard of him, does that mean you didn't see him? What were you doing up here, then? I feel hideous! Ugh! And, uh, then we rub people's backs, because that's what we do. I feel much better! You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know, you can have this! Teach it to your Pokémon, and you can use- you can see- see it cut any time. Okay, and he gives us the HMO1 for cut, as he is, you know, he was seasick, but I guess rubbing people's backs makes them not seasick? Is that actually how it works? I've never really been next to a seasick person before, so I don't really know what it's like to you know, rub someone's back and then all of a sudden they feel better. But there we go, that is the yes is Anne, and now we are going to head on out of here. And uh, now that the captain is better, now we get to see the SSN off. As you can see, it is sailing away on this long, well, slow sail. And then we just head on our way. And that is the last you'll see of the SSN. It will never come back. So now that that's over, we can now take on the gym. Before I do that, I'm going to head on back up and heal up. So, let's do it. Alright, I healed up and I talked cut to our Paris. And then, um, let's see. Uh, I think I need to put it just straight. Okay. I don't actually remember the criteria for that. I thought she gives it to you right away, but I guess I misremembered that. But anyway, with Cut, we can go ahead and cut down this tree right here, and um, then we can actually take on the gym. But actually, before I go take on the gym, I actually want to go this way right here, uh, because um, this way has some pretty interesting stuff here. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Alright, so starting off, we're going to head over here to this cave right here. This is called Diglett's Cave. Um, and Based on the name Diglett's Cave, you're going to be encountering a wild Pokemon known as Diglett. And then also, as a 5% chance, you can encounter another Pokemon known as Dugtrio. And at our level, unfortunately, we cannot prevent wild Dugtrios. So if we encounter Dugtrio, then that's just, that just means that we're unlucky. Because uh, Dugtrio is, really, is really powerful, really high level. Um, so... On the other side of Diglett's cave here, if you go and cut this tree, then all of a sudden, we if you keep going upwards, that'll take us to Peter City. So that is how you get back to Peter City. You might you might notice that when you leave Mount Moon, you actually cannot backtrack anymore once you uh, get to Cerulean City. So um, this is how we're how we're gonna get back. But um, anyway, if you go and head inside this house right here. Uh, Vayna Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. You can actually talk to this guy right here. He will give you a Mr. Mime if you give him an Abra, I believe. Uh, that's in red and blue. In yellow, you have to give him a Clefairy instead. So it's one of those things where yellow kind of changes drastically from red and blue in a, in a way. Alright, what do you gotta say here? Remember me, I'm Oak's Aid. If you caught 10 Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. So if you go ahead and caught 10 Pokemon, which in my case I have 11, then you'll get HMO5 for Flash, and that's gonna make the next dungeon that we're gonna go to easier to go through. 
right here you can get yourself an HP up. And if you cut this tree right here, then that'll take you to the other side of Route 2, which will then take you to Viridian City. It's hot dig to Charmander right there, um, as a dig is a really powerful ground type move, so it would be a shame if I didn't use dig on anybody at all. And that'll actually make the next gym easier, now that I have dig on somebody. Okay, so now that we're out of Diglett's Cave, we're gonna head this way while we're over here. This is an optional route, but... This will help us gain a few extra levels before we take on... Or, sorry, the gym. I mean, is it really much of a spoiler? I've done Fire Red and Leaf Green as well as Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Continuing onwards here, it's a bit of a grassy maze, unless you, like, run, walk right through the grass and not care about the wild Pokemon, which actually, the Pokemon you can find here, you can find, uh, Radicate and Drowsy, as far as new Pokemon's concerned. That's a new trainer class called Gambler, which they quickly changed to Gamer in later games because, you know, they don't want kids to get into gambling. But then there's also something else that kind of contradicts that statement. I have a floor store and a max potion. I don't really want to use them. Okay, we're back, and now we continue and see what else we got here. If you just keep like doing like these up downs, you can probably see if there's a trainer coming up. Like right here, there's another gambler over here. So we're gonna go ahead and battle him. You've never won before. Volpix and a Growth, I'm sure you have a pretty good chance at winning. Those are pretty good Pokemon. I don't know why you say you never won with just a Growth and a Volpix. Okay, continuing onwards here. Watch out for live wires. Close our way. Okay, that's the end of that route right there. 
Okay, so we have a trainer that has never won before, and now we have a trainer who's never lost. Let's see how difficult this guy is. Definitely appreciate Magnemite and, and Voltorb, uh, but yeah, that wasn't quite enough for, you know, saying that you've never lost before. But now we have a guy who says he's the best in this class! Escape rope. I don't need that. If I have teleport and dig, yeah, I don't need an escape rope at all. Okay, it appears that we are done with this route, right? Okay, yeah, we are. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on behind here. What do we got? What do we got? You can actually get up the stairs here. We got binoculars that you can see right through. What do we got here? I'm looking for a lick -a tongue Okay, I don't have a lick -a tongue but it'll give you a dug tree over that, which you can simply already catch in Diggle's Cave here. Uh, if you have 30 kinds of Pokemon, then he'll give you an award. The Item Finder, which, unfortunately, we don't have 30 Pokemon. And I don't plan to do that, to be honest. Um, even though this is a game that encourages lots of Pokemon catching, I am not going to focus on that. Okay, so if we keep going that way right there, as you can see there's a sleeping Pokemon blocking the way, which we can't really do anything about, so we just make our way back to Vermilion City, because we're pretty much done with this route. There is nothing else for us to do in this route. And so with that, I'm going to heal up once again, and then we're going to go ahead and take on the gym. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we are back, we healed up, and now it is time for us to take on the gym here. We're gonna use Cut over here, and then we are gonna go ahead...